Rabbits and chickens. Well, they do have quite a bit in common. They're both very social, and they do love the great outdoors. They also need hutches in order to survive and to meet their full potential. Because of these reasons, this pairing is quite tempting, especially if you're a farmer or simply a person who loves to have a variety of animals on your property. Can rabbits and chickens live together? The answer is yes. Just as long as they are introduced while they're young and the rabbit has its very own hutch for sleeping, they can coexist quite peacefully. While it will take a ton of responsibility on your part to make sure the area is clean for both animals, living arrangements can be quite successful. It's critical to note, however, in addition to hutch cleaning and basic responsibilities, chickens do carry diseases, often with no visual symptoms. This is why you will also need to be mindful of the health of both animals. In this video, we'll provide a general overview of common living conditions, the relationship chickens and rabbits can share, the advantages of this pairing, and a list of the most common disadvantages. Before we kick things off, we'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We value your time. It is much appreciated. Let's get started. We've already answered the question. It is indeed yes, but there's obviously much more to it than a simple stamp of approval. Both chickens and rabbits are delicate animals, fearful animals. They can be quite skittish. For this reason, rabbits and chickens need some get-to-know-each-other time. As we did note earlier, the younger, the better. While rabbits and chickens do have some very different needs, they can form solid bonds with each other. However, it's all a bust without some proper ground rules and guidelines. Number one, introduce when young. Number two, rabbits must be spayed or neutered prior to introduction. Let's just say that rabbits are quite feisty and they don't care if that's a chicken, if you get my drift. Number three, clean environment. Rabbits are far cleaner than chickens. A rabbit will not survive if the living area is left to the chickens. Stress will grow, tensions will mount, fights will start, etc. And this is not to mention the general health ailments that can arise within a rabbit, specifically from dirty living quarters. Number four, space and privacy. Living together doesn't always mean close contact. Give your chickens and rabbits room to breathe. The same hutch doesn't have to mean the same spot. Number five is sleeping. Your rabbits will need their own space within the coop to sleep. Build a sleeping hutch for your rabbits. They'll feel safer, be cleaner, and generally more relaxed. Number six, one chicken and one rabbit probably won't work. At the very minimum to try two chickens or three, maybe two or three rabbits. We'll talk about ratios a bit later. There are strength in numbers. This will allow stronger bonds to form as a whole. And number seven, behavior. Do not sit back and watch altercations grow and just simply go down. If tensions mount and things start to go south, separate the animals as soon as possible. You don't want constant fighting to ruin any chance of a long-term and stable relationship. So what's the good in all of this? Yes is the answer, but what's the point? Let's check out some advantages. Space saving is the first one. One big coop for your chickens and rabbits surely beats multiple coops and hutches. Companionship. Once again, there is strength in numbers. Your chickens and rabbits can depend on each other for company. The next is security. Not too much unlike companionship, we've noted earlier that chickens and rabbits have a lot in common. One common share is that both are, unfortunately, prey animals. They attract the same predators. Keeping them housed safely together is a great form of security from outside threats. Next is reduced smell. If everyone is housed together, the smell can be reduced. As long as you're answering the call when it comes to cleaning responsibilities, the aroma won't be quite as pungent. Temperatures. Ambient temperatures work out just fine for both chickens and rabbits. They both flourish in the winter. Unlike so many other animal pairings, they can thrive in the same temperature environment. And the final advantage, just plain fun. Chickens and rabbits are fun to watch together, and they'll have tons of fun with each other. Record your chickens and rabbits playing around and put it on the good old YouTube. Your chickens and rabbits could become internet famous. <laughs> Who knows? Now, unfortunately, it's time for the negatives. While they're not all that major, they can become a problem without proper cleaning and general observations. While some things will simply be out of your control, most of these less than stellar aspects can be handled. Let's start with food. Chickens and rabbits have different needs, so they'll need to be fed separately. The next is temperaments. As we noted earlier, this tit-for-tat, back-and-forth battle, it doesn't need to be ignored. 
try to put an end to any pecking and clawing when possible. Disease, the invisible enemy. Both rabbits and chickens can get diseases. They can also share parasites. This is why proper health care is so critical. This is quite possibly the biggest negative of the group. Next is cleanliness. This harkens back to the responsibility aspect. Things can go south if you're not cleaning the enclosure often. However, if you're up for the task, this potential negative has a chance to be the greatest positive. Mating. Yeah, we already covered that. I just want to mention it one more time. Spay, neuter, do whatever you have to do because, yeah, you know, rabbits, yeah, they're wild like that. The next is coop materials. This is an interesting one that can often be forgotten. Rabbits have delicate skin and they can injure themselves on chicken wire. This is why it's important to use proper materials that cater to both animals from a safety and security standpoint. And finally, digging. Rabbits will dig a hole straight to China if you allow it. This is why hardwood flooring is a must. Although this flooring can be uncomfortable for a chicken's feet, it is indeed a necessary evil to keep those rabbits from digging a hole to the center of the earth. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of this material. However, the adventure is far from over. If you'd like to know more about this particular subject, please head on over to rabbitcaretips.com. There you will find a detailed article covering everything that has been discussed right here in addition to the following topics. The size of the rabbit and chicken coop living area, the materials needed for said living space, the ideal ratio, we mentioned that earlier, of chickens to rabbits, how to introduce chickens and rabbits to each other when they're young, signs to look for to see if everyone is getting along or if they're not. Do chickens attack? Do rabbits attack? And a bit more regarding diseases and potential shared transmission. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, please click that initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to our incredibly thorough article. We think you'll enjoy it and come away with some wonderful information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours. Best of luck with those chickens and rabbits. And we will talk to you later.